Hey guys, welcome to the next video here on the channel and welcome to the tutorial that will be kicking off bow week here on the channel. If you didn't catch the intro earlier, there's going to be a tutorial each day of the week, Monday to Friday, and they're all gonna, all gonna focus on bows because this is of course bow week. So let's get started here on the first tutorial of the week which will be on how to make bow hair clips. So for this tutorial, you're going to need your favorite colors of duct tape. I'm going to be using the I Heart Bacon Tape and the mustache print here. Uh, basically, what I normally do is make the uh, the inside just a single color or you know usually a solid color, and then the outsides are the two uh, same colors here. So you can pretty much do that any way you want to, any colors you want to. You can also make it three different colors if you want. Totally up to you. Uh, we are going to be using a, a, a barrette hair clip for the back here. There's also a few other kind of, kinds of clips that you can use. You can also use a large alligator clip if you have one, and you can kind of get away with a bobby pin but the bobby pins don't typically have a lot of surface area so a barrette clip or a alligator clip would definitely work a lot better than a bobby pin but it's definitely still possible if that's all you have so let's get started here on the tutorial Okay, so the hair bows are actually pretty simple to make. All we need to do is cut out six strips of tape that are three and a half inches long. And every two strips will actually be one segment on the bow. So I have uh, four bacon strips because there are two segments of bacon. And I have two mustache strips because there's just one uh, strip of mustache, which will be in the center. So all we need to do at this point is just stick them together. So I'm going to take my two mustache prints. I'm going to stick them together just like this. And we might do any trimming on the sides just to make sure there's no uh, sticky side showing or anything like that with a pair of scissors. I'm then going to take my two bacon prints or bacon uh, strips here. And I'm going to stick those together. And of course my last two are also bacon and I'm going to stick those two together. Just like that. Alright, so now we're going to do any little trimming with a pair of scissors just to make sure they're all the same length. All right, so at this point we have our three strips, you know, double-sided, you know, no sticky side showing, trimmed a little bit of the edges with a pair of scissors. We're going to take our first strip and we're going to fold it in half just like this. Make sure you get a good crease in there and make sure it's folded directly in half. Then we're going to take the one edge and fold it back on itself and crease it like that. Make sure it's creased good and, you know, good and well. Then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to crease that down just like this. And when you crease it all together, it should be, you know, all the same size. All the creases are the same size. That looks pretty good there. Then we're going to, you know, make sure that's good and creased down. Then we're going to take our second one and we're going to do exactly the same thing. And once you get this all creased down, we're going to do this with the third one. So once those three are creased, we're going to take a small strip of tape, just cut it out from the roll. It should be about a little over a quarter of an inch uh, long, and then you'll, the natural length of the tape will do fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these together, and we're going to line them up just like this so that they're all exactly the same place here. So it's just going to take a little bit of doing depending on you know how much they're going to fight you, but you want them all to be lined up both vertically and horizontally. And then once you get them to a nice area and they're all the same length, we're going to hold that just like that. We're going to take this piece and this will be this will serve as our connecting strip. You pretty much want to find the center and this might take one or two tries, especially if you you know if you're doing this for the first time. And we're going to wrap that directly around these pieces. Once you get the front of them down, it really shouldn't be too difficult to kind of just wrap it all the way around. And you should end up with that right there. So from here we can just you know fan it out a little bit, make it look like the bow right here where it's all fanned out and you can see all of the different colors which look really cool. Just like that. Then we can put that aside for now. We're going to take another strip of tape that's about three inches long and we can't just cut it like this because that's actually not going to be long enough to wrap all the way around the, uh, the barrette clip and the bow here. So we're going to just take my hobby knife and I'm going to cut a small strip just free handed out of this piece here. And that's what we're going to use to go around the barrette clip. So we've got this part, of course that's the part that pops open on the bottom, always keep that in mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this through the inside, kind of like the portion that's right up against this part of the clip. Definitely don't want to go all the way around it because that will prevent it from opening and you don't want to do that. It will be pretty obvious if you make that mistake because you won't be able to open it. So we're going to stick that to the underside of that there. And it won't take too much to stick that down. Then you want to stick this, just stick the uh, the bow right on top. Stick it just like this, and then wrap this part all the way around. And then you can kind of just, you know, get your fingernail underneath that and stick that to the back of the bread clip to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But since it's a closed system, you, it really shouldn't, you know, pop out or anything. 
And that's it. I mean, your hair bow is complete there. So it's really simple to make, like I said, and you can make a whole bunch of these in different colors and also in different sizes. One of the things you can also do is kind of round the edges to make it, you know, a little bit more stylish depending on, you know, what you want. It does make the bow appear a little bit smaller. And to do that, what you want to do is after you stick all your three strips together, so you have, you know, all your double-sided strips, you can just take a pair of scissors and all you want to do is just round the edges of the two collars that will be on the on the ends here. So I would have done that with the other uh, two bacon strips. And by rounding the edges, when you fold it in half and crease it, it will automatically get that rounded edge on the corners, on all four corners there. Like I said before, you can uh, use, you know, uh, the alligator clips and also the bobby pins if you're really careful. Like I said, the, there's not a lot of surface area on bobby pins, so it might be a little difficult to wrap the, uh, the strip around and connect it to the pin, but it's definitely possible. So like I said, I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll catch you tomorrow for the next tutorial.